London and Thompson offices in London to hear about one of their latest products, Brand Guardian. I'm going to be chatting to Crom to get all the details. Let's go find him. It's my absolute pleasure to be joined by Matthias Kraminski, or Chrome as he likes to be known, Director of Software Products at Wonderman Thompson Technology. He's also the brains behind Wonderman Thompson's latest AI-based solution, Brand Guardian. Brand Guardian helps creative production and marketing to assure the quality of the hundreds and thousands of assets across all different applications in today's always-on multi-channel digital world. Chrome, thank you so much for coming and joining us today. Thank you for having me here. Brilliant. So tell me all about Brand Guardian and maybe let's start with content. What do we mean when we say brands have to manage and think about content across all these different channels? So Bill Gates coined the term that content is king back in 1996. And I'm not really sure he was aware how true the prophecy will become. Fast forward, over 25 years later, we see a true proliferation of channels. As customers, we are really bombed with the brand's messaging through a variety of channels including social media, paid ads, websites, TV ads, and, and many, many more. So while this is just right for the end customers, it creates a true challenge for the organizations to produce this content. And while pro content production is already a difficult challenge, it becomes even more challenging if you think about a multi-brand companies with uh, operational models across all of the world that are working with a variety of agencies. Quality management becomes critical in this environment. It can actually make or break the efficiency of the whole process. So tell me, how does Brand Guardian come in and help solve this problem? Brand Guardian is a new fellow member in your team. It's an automated colleague that takes off all of these Monday tasks that previously were delivered by human within the team. It does not get bored, it does not get tired, and it is very consistent in the execution. Quality management will mean something very different for the organizations dependent on the industry they are working in. For some organizations, the quality is all around the visual identity. So how the end users really perceive the brand. It's all about the colors, it's all about the fonts, basically brand books. For other industries, especially the sensitive ones, think about healthcare, think about pharma, think about the tobacco industry. It is much more about what the external independent regulators expect these companies to apply to. And obviously, there is a topic of accessibility, there's a topic of diversity, and also ap application of the best practices that the leading vendors in the market that own the social media channels, that own all the other channels where we are delivering the content through, that's also a, a topic to manage. So what exactly does Brand Guardian do and how does it work? So Brand Guardian processes the assets that you have in your content production lifecycle. Obviously, the assets can be the static images that you generate for social channels for the website. It could also be all around the moving videos, like the ones that you publish into the TV ads. Or finally, it can also be about all of the documents that you generate, both internally and externally. So Brand Guardian looks deeply inside these assets, analyzes all of the characteristics inside it, tries to find out what is the logo application, what is the color, what are the colors used, and then benchmarks this against what is the expectation of given brand. So what are the applied quality standards that the brand is expecting? It can work across all of the stages of the content production. It is for most valuable when you use it just at the time when the asset is created. But sometimes, because of the distributed environment of the clients, it should be applied rather in the asset management space or directly next to the distribution. It can seamlessly integrate into the tools that you are using, basically improving your already used solutions with the quality management feature. So I would love to see how it works. You've brought a demo to show me. Yeah, I did. And the solution is actually so easy to use that I'd like you to do that Oh, okay, yourself. brilliant. Here we go. Okay, so what you're seeing over here is a set of different brands that a, that a given customer has established for for them. I'd like to ask you to open up the Enzo Cosmetics, which is the FMCG, fake FMCG brand that we developed, um, which is very freshy, very fruitful, but also takes a lot of, um, puts a lot of attention and emphasis on the accessibility topics. If you could open up rules collections, please, you will see a variety of checks that can be done for the assets for this specific brand. And I'm assuming here then um, every brand will have different ones depending on their specific uh, work and the type of marketing that they do. Exactly. 
Exactly that. Uh, obviously, there is a set of reusable rules that would be used across different customers, but every single will have its own bespoke rules as well. If you could open up the test asset button, click the test asset button, and just uh, upload the asset that I prepared for you today. After just a couple of seconds, because that's how quickly the processing uh, happens, you will see that the, um, the, the processing results. So if you go to the test activity and open up the asset that you have just uploaded, you will see that this asset looks just right. I mean, there is nothing wrong uh, with, with it. But the automated processing can help you detect things that are not visible for bare eyes, like color contrast. The specific message, be kind to your skin, actually uh, can be invisible for some of the visually impaired people. So if you could open up the test explorer, visual test explorer, you will see a number of violations. And what's great about this is you can, uh, you know, it's actually hovering right over the specific part of the asset. So you can imagine, you know, taking this and handing it to the creative team and saying, you know, this is where we need to do the edit. Not only, why would you ever hand it over? Shouldn't it be part of your creative production process? That should be tool used directly by the creative designers. Thanks very much, Krom. You're welcome. So you mentioned earlier on there's AI in this product, and I often find that AI can be a term that's a little bit perplexing for people. Can you tell us a little bit about how AI is used in this product and what we mean about this and being embedded at its center? Yes, many think that AI is a black box where you put in good examples, you put in bad examples, and it will learn up. Unfortunately, that's often not a reality. There's a lot of engineering to be done to find out specific characteristics of the assets, to find out the features of it, and then, again, compare it with what we expected. We are using artificial intelligence, but beyond that, computer vision is actually just enough for many use cases. And sadly speaking, many organizations still face issues with the very basic stuff, like file naming conventions, like applying specific metadata. So, Simple things sometimes already help. I wonder if you could talk a little bit about examples. Can you tell us about some of the types of companies that have used Brand Guardian in the past? Actually, any company could use and should use Brand Guardian. We have a good experience um, with companies within the uh, tobacco sector where we have applied Brand Guardian into the production of their packagings. But we, have, we are using also Brand Guardian to help the oil industry or the company within the oil industry to test out how diverse and accessible are their assets posted in the social media channels. Finally, because Wunderman Thompson is a creative agency, we are using this tool in-house, ensuring that the quality of assets that we delivered, but also the efficiency at which we are doing that, is just the best. So for anyone who's watching here today and is thinking, I want to get in on Brand Guardian, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about how they might get started, how they might start embedding this into a technology stack. Simply start small. Think about the end goal, but do not plan it so much ahead. Start with the simple things that you can already use tomorrow. Brilliant, Rom. Thank you so much for coming and telling us all about Brand Guardian. You're welcome.